Hello YouTube, welcome to the Black and Girl. I'm your host Doug here with your video blog for November 7th, 2011. Don't forget if you guys want to ask me questions, you can tune in to live blog. You can ask me questions via Facebook, via chat on blogtv.com if you have an account. Uh, we're going to get right into it. I want to start talking about the weekend it was in the NFL. Of course, last night we saw a great game. I'm just going to run down through the games, tell you a little bit about each game. Last night we saw a great game between Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Baltimore came out on top 23-20 to after a Joe Flacco deep ball late in the game, giving him the win to Torrey Smith, the rookie. Joe Flacco played better than people thought he would, and I'm really proud of how Flacco played. Next game, Jet Giants, Patriots. The Giants knocked off the Patriots in a Tom Brady esque way. Eli Manning playing like Tom Brady down the stretch, making a bit pulling off a big drive late to give his team the win. Of course, this blog will be also live on YouTube following this, so check it out again if you want. It's gonna be good. We're up to almost seven hundred YouTube video views, so keep it coming there. If you have a YouTube account, also subscribe to me. Go ahead. Subscribe subscriptions are also welcome. So back to that game, though, Joe, I mean, Ballard came up with the big catch late, came up with two big catches on the last drive, giving the Giants the lead now in the NFC East. The next game, of course, was Cardinals. The Cardinals winning at home against the Rams on the Patrick Peterson punt return, 99 yards for the touchdown. What a play by Patrick Peterson, giving his team the win. The next game. Green Bay still undefeated. Green Bay is now eight and zero. Oh, Green Bay is solid. Philip Rivers once again struggled, throwing three interceptions for the first time in his career. Through two pick sixes, I mean the defense for the Packers is not looking great, but it doesn't have to when you have Aaron Rodgers just throwing darts. Aaron Rodgers twenty-one for twenty-six, two forty-seven, four touchdowns, and they also ran the ball for a combined thirty-six yards. So big win there for them, definitely. The next game I'm going to talk about, moving on, moving on, of course, to the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals are a very interesting team. I'm going to break them down more following the following the YouTube video, so stay stay tuned in for that. I'm going to talk more about the the divisions. So I'm just going to run down through the other scores, of course. Bengals knocking off the Titans to go to 6-2. and two. Tim Tebow, big game. Over 100 passing, over 100 rushing against Oakland, knocking them off 38-24. The Jets and their buddy, the Jets knocking off the Bills in Buffalo 27-11. Defense starting to show up again for the Bills. Starting to show up. I'm liking what I see. Um, just good stuff, really. I like what I see from them, and I think they're really improving. All right. Of course, now we have a three-way tie in the NFC, AFC East, so we're going to talk more about that as well. Dallas knocking off the Seahawks, no big deal. Atlanta routing the Colts once again at home. And Miami finally wins the game. Miami is now thir won 31-3 over the Kansas City Chiefs, which are on a hot streak. They win. Miami is now 1-7. They're, they're out of the cellar and on to the next one. New Orleans knocking off Tampa Bay in a big-time division game. To New Orleans getting back to rolling how they always roll. roll, Rolling, rolling, rolling. San Francisco continues their great play against Washington. They're playing well. I like what I see there. Houston, of course, keeping it going as well. A lot of teams just keeping it going. Keeping what people think might not keep going, going. And they're just rolling right now. We've seen a lot of good play out of some of these guys. A lot of good play of young guys, old guys. I like what I'm seeing. Uh, so now, before I finish up the YouTube video, I'm going to run down through some headlines. Then I'm going to stay on here to talk about the BC, the new BCS standings. And I'm going to run down through other things, such as the big-time NFL games. I'm going to tell you who's going to win each division after the first eight, eight nine weeks. All right. So I'm going to run down through that some more. And we're going to get some final answers here. All right, so let's go now to, oh, I have, might have had a quick, uh, yeah, so very interesting stuff has happened. Um, I'm enjoying a lot of NFL action that happened yesterday. Let's get now to the headlines. Dallas, Miles Austin will miss two to four weeks. Dal that's going to be a big miss, definitely. Miles Austin's been playing big for them. 
They're going to need him down the stretch. He'll be back in two to four weeks. I don't really see it being an issue. All right. So next headline, Houston Nutt is out as the old Miss coach. Not surprised they've won. They've lost 12 consecutive SEC games. They're in trouble. Houston Nutt on his way out. Bush, Kyle Bush, fined $50,000 after his ban from NASCAR for the weekend. I think it's a good move. They gotta ban. They gotta find him. They gotta put him on probation. Obviously, if you're banned from a race, you should be put on probation. Big trade today in the Major League Baseball. The Giants have acquired Melky Cabrera for that of um <clears throat> All right. So, I'm going to continue here this YouTube video finish up and then I do have a question. So, of course I was saying Melky Cabrera traded for Jonathan Sanchez of the Giants. Giants really needed to get another outfielder. Melky Cabrera will fill in great for them. Uh, let's see. Twins dismiss GM Smith. Twins general manager is out as of now. Interesting move there. Look for some more GM jobs to maybe be kicked out of here. All right, before I go, I'm going to give you a quick Monday night pick. And the Monday night pick I'm going to give you. And... All right, so the first pick I'm going to give you is my Monday night pick, and I'm picking the Eagles. The Eagles, too good. They're going to play solid tonight. They're going to play great defense, and I'm excited to see what they can do against Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler gets sacked a lot. He's going to get sacked some more tonight. So let's, let's just hope that goes well, and I'm picking the Eagles. All right, so YouTube, thanks for watching. We'll be back Wednesday with a video. Check me out. Subscribe to me. Give, leave me comments. Ask me questions. Thank you for watching, YouTube. <clears throat> I'm out.